We have a president whose son's laptop from hell gets taken over and exposes massive corruption like nobody's ever seen before. You think the father, do you ever hear this? Do you think the father was upset? Uh, Dad, I left my laptop in a repair shop. I forgot to pick it up, and this repair guy went a little crazy when he saw what was on it. What's on it, son? Every crime that you've ever committed, Pa. <laughs> now, at what point does the father get angry? You know, like, this kid is not working out well for me. And then the FBI goes and convinces the media that it's Russian disinformation. Remember, they went over to see the people at Twitter and other media and other agencies also. But the FBI, can you imagine the good old FBI? I can't. It's hard to believe what's happened there. This is Russian disinformation. So if you hear anything about it, don't put it in. Don't write. Don't do it. Don't do it. You better not do it because it's Russian disinformation, it's not true. Even though they know that's a lie that they're telling them. And instead of doing that, they come after Trump. Let's go after Trump. Let's raid Mar-a-Lago. Nice, secure place, too. We have an FBI and Justice Department that does raid Mar-a-Lago in Florida. It's placed under lock and key, a very, very powerful building, very secure, very thick walls. It was built, actually, as a Southern White House by Marjorie Merriweather Post and E.F. Hutton. They, they willed it over to the government. Jimmy Carter turned it back. He said it was too expensive. Can you believe it? And I say, thank you, Jimmy. I appreciate it.